Welcome back to Tainslade Info. This video will provide vital information regarding the delivery of the 36th Rafale fighter from France and also regarding the two new enhancements which have been requested by India and which has been agreed by both Dassault Aviation and Indian Air Force. With the arrival of the 36th Rafale fighter, which was ordered by the Indian Air Force in the first contract for 36 Dassault Aviation Rafale, it would fulfill the delivery of the entire lot of Rafale fighter jets to India by France. This 36th Rafale has been used as a flying test bed for India-specific enhancements in terms of software and hardware. As per the recent update, it looks like India has requested for two additional enhancements that were not part of the original plan and the good thing is that Dassault Aviation has agreed to get it incorporated before they deliver the last Rafale fighter to Indian Air Force. To be more precise, the last or the 36th Rafale jet from France that was part of the 36 aircraft deal between the two countries will arrive in India by December 15, 2022 with these new two additional sensor-specific enhancements. It is said that the advanced communication systems and Indian electronic warfare equipment would be included. India signed a deal for 36 Rafale planes and 35 of these have been already delivered from France and once India receives the last Rafale fighter jet from France by December 15, it would complete the delivery of the entire 36 aircraft as part of the deal between the two countries. The entire set of Rafale fighters are stationed at the Ambala Air Force Station of Haryana and Hasimara Air Force Station in West Bengal. The 36th Rafale aircraft was provided to India by France with all its spares and other parts replaced as it was being used for developmental activities. Meanwhile, the Indian Air Force has also started upgrading the planes to the highest standards and it has been equipped with all India-specific enhancements. The French firm Dassault Aviation is also involved in the maintenance of these Rafale aircrafts. The Rafale was inducted swiftly into the Indian Air Force at the peak of the conflict with China and Pakistan and it had started operating over the Ladakh within a week of its arrival in the country. These French fighters is indeed a great boost for the Indian Air Force firepower since it can fire a variety of powerful and proven missiles. To name a few of the missiles which I am talking about are the long range meteor air to air missiles, the scalp air to ground missiles and not only that, the Indian Air Force also added the hammer missile to the Rafale's arsenal as it was required for carrying out precision attacks at shorter distance. Now since the Indian Air Force has finished procuring the 36 Rafale fighters from France, their next step is to plan and execute the plan for acquiring 114 fighters to strengthen their squadron strength. Out of these 114 fighters, 18 of them would be imported in a fly-away condition and the remaining 96 would be manufactured in India. These 114 fighters for the Indian Air Force will be procured under Buy Global and Make in India scheme under which the Indian companies would be allowed to partner with a foreign vendor for manufacturing these fighters in India. Among the competitors for this deal, Rafale is again the front runner, and at this moment we are not sure if India would be going for Rafale fighters of France once again or it would go for other category of fighters like the Boeing Super Hornet, the Sweden's Saab Gripen, the Eurofighter Typhoon, the Russian MiG-35 or Lockheed Martin F-21 of the United States. So we have to wait and see if Indian Air Force would go for Rafale or another fighter or a mix-up of two fighter jets. Let's wait and watch the update which we receive from the sources of Indian Air Force. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.